2MD's been getting a lot of updates recently. No longer is it a game limited to two minute drills, and no longer is the player limited to playing just quarterback. With full length games, playable receivers, stats for every team's offensive players, throwable field goals, and a ton more, this game is undeniably the best VR football game out there, and it's an easy pickup for any Oculus Quest user. If you came here looking for a review, there's your answer, buy it now. But if you're here to see the latest news regarding this 1.6 update, buckle up because it's another big one. This update is the end of an era of sorts. 2MD VR Football Unleashed will no longer be followed up by the words CHALLENGERS EDITION! Rather, it'll be preceded by All-Star. Hey now, you're an All-Star! Rather than adding new modes and mechanics, this update focuses on providing further context to the game's pre-existing content. The previous two landmark updates were quite the contrary, and focused on adding new things to do, i.e. an exhibition mode and manual receiving. To sum up both of those updates, they're incredible. The gameplay was already stellar, and with every addition, it just became more and more of a good time. I was initially worried about how well gameplay would transition from 2 minute games to 60 minute ones, but it's absolutely amazing and now I almost exclusively play that way. And the catching mechanics feel way better than you'd expect them to. Catching passes feel so satisfying, and tracking down deep balls is a great challenge. Switching from QB to receiver was undoubtedly the biggest challenge in making this a reality, but their initial solution worked pretty well. After the ball was in the air for a set amount of time, you transitioned to the nearest receiver's perspective and faced the ball, and movement was flipped to face the opposite end zone. Since then, they added a couple alternatives to this way of switching. You can now elect to face downfield after the switch and have movement map to face the scoring end zone, or you can face the catching radius and have forward bring you toward that. These are all really nice options to have, and each one has its advantages for certain pass catching situations. And luckily, you can toggle between them before the snap, which is both convenient and necessary. But that all came in a smaller update about a month ago, and with that, they changed a couple other things. First, they put team logos on the helmets so they're not just solid colors, which looks a lot better. And second, which you probably noticed immediately, there's been a massive overhaul of player animations. Before, movements were very rugged and blocky. It definitely suffices, but it left a lot to be desired, and this animation system 2.0 actually makes movement look believable. Players are physically running around, swinging their arms, turning their bodies, and jumping up for catches. It looks terrific. I didn't think there was anything wrong with how everyone moved before, but now I can't go back. Every play just looks so much more realistic, and I love it. And that finally brings us to version 1.6, where they look to address one of the most lacking aspects remaining in the game, and that was the team selection. There were only 8 of them, and like half were really bland. A shirt? Really? Skins? I thought they were the commanders now. Who wants to play as a princess, and what the hell's a truant? My team of choice was usually the unicorns. It was the only animal that worked with a lot of color schemes, but even still, not that great of a mascot. And while each team had a unique stadium, unique gives them a bit too much credit, and the only one that felt different was the pixels, because it had a retro aesthetic and a jumbotron with 8-bit replays. This update brings that selection of 8 teams to a whopping 48, and while some are obviously worse than others, there's a lot of really awesome ones to choose from. And they're not just teams anymore, a lot of them represent different cities and schools, depending on the difficulty of the league. These teams are all sorted into six distinct leagues, the most difficult of which, and the one I play the most, being the National Gridiron League, which is tough to get wins in, even for someone who's been playing for a long time. Leagues were a thing before this, but the eight teams were universal and the experience was nearly identical when switching between them. This update makes each one feel fresh and uniquely interesting, and I'm all for that. But it's not just the new teams that accomplish this, it's also the new stadiums. A lot of them share common assets, but there's different environments, weather effects, and small tweaks to the stadium designs themselves. One of the leagues is even focused on indoor stadiums, and these are sweet. Changing something as simple as the stadium design doesn't seem like it would make the experience playing around a whole lot better, but it really does. It makes it feel like you're genuinely playing in various places and on opposing territory, rather than a slightly modified stadium. Sometimes the turf is all beat up, other times it's blue, and sometimes you're in a city and others you're in the middle of nowhere. It's great. While this update isn't as flashy as the previous ones, it has a ton to offer and does drastically improve the overall experience. It feels way more like you're playing on a real team, which is another thing I've wanted to see for a long time. With player statistics being more noticeable in-game, more detailed uniforms, a city to play for, and a home field that stands out from the rest, the decision of which team to play for has never been so important and equally difficult. Again, if you haven't picked this game up yet, like, 
dude, actually go get it. If you like playing football, you'll have fun, I promise. And if you want to stay up to date on all things 2MD and VR football in general, you're in the right place. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn the bell on so you never miss another video like this. If you're curious about those previous updates, click the 2MD playlist. And if you're looking for something a bit different, check out my Hoops Madness review. With that said, have a great rest of your day. I will see you later.